Well, can you tell us a little bit about this apparatus? It's a sure. something portable uh, atom cooling device, is yes, it? Yes, this is our mini MOT. So MOT is a magneto optical trap, and we have rubidium-85 atoms in here today that are around 100 microkelvin. And so the atoms are laser cooled. We have a single laser that's locked to the cooling transition, and we're modulating it to add sidebands for the recoupling transition. And so we need beams on all three axes. So our beams are coming in this direction, crossing uh -huh. at the center of the coils, and then retro-reflecting back. Yes. And the third dimension is the vertical axis. I see. And so we also have a beam coming up and then being retro-reflected back. And down. these these are the laser modules down here that produce those yeah, beams. I mean, you could tell GDR us about that. Laser, um, and this is supplied by Vescent. And this is our spectroscopy module, which basically contains a vapor cell. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we can lock to the cooling transition. And after we have our beam locked, um, it goes in this direction. Inside of this lower um, part of the optics here, we have a telescope. Uh -huh. And that just blows the beam up. We want the beam to be larger than what comes out of the laser because yes. the larger our beam is, the more atoms that we can capture in our MOT. So you say that's the spectroscopy beam? Well, the spectroscopy beam is contained within here. We basically yes. have the main beam going straight through, and then a small part is picked off goes through the vapor cell oh, and I see. then is detected and fed back into the control So electronics. this optical system back here is the thing that produces these three beams in the magneto-optic yes, trap, yes. is that so right? this is functioning with somewhere around 40 milliwatts of power. Now let's see, here's a, here's a video screen which I guess the, the White blob in the center is that is that fluorescence from the rubidium? Yes. It's rubidium eighty seven that you have in here. Eighty five today. Rubidium eighty five. Yes. Wow. And that's just because we we it's easier to have a three gigahertz source to add your side bands. But the higher the gigahertz, the the harder it is to get those electronics. So we have three gigahertz instead of six point eight. Now, could you demonstrate for us a primitive magnetometer that might be made <laughs> using this system? So, certainly, we have here a very high-tech magnet on a stick wow, with that's duct awesome. tape, our friend. Yeah, of course. And since our atoms are going to gather in the magnetic minimum of the quadrupole trap created by these coils, if we add an external magnetic field, the atoms will sense it and go to the new magnetic minimum. Okay. So, if you watch the screen as I right. wave this magnet around, I see. you can see the atoms uh, deform and gather in the minimum. Just like it says in the textbooks. Well, thank so, you very much. Yes, certainly. <laughs>